It's fall, y'all. I wait all year to say that on my YouTube channel because this is my all time favorite video to film, I feel like. There's something about fall and the crisp air and Lord, the season's changing during this blessed 2020. It's just very um, welcomed. That just, it just makes me feel alive. Now that we're into September and just everybody's on their pumpkin spice lattes and everything, I'm gonna do a fall favorites video. So I'm gonna do some decor, some makeup, some hair, some recipes, some baby stuff, all different types of things. So I'll take you around my house and just kind of show you guys um, some of the things that I'm loving this fall. I think decorating your entryway is a really great way to decorate for holiday because it's a small, easy space and it sets the tone for your house when somebody walks into your front door, it's like, oh my gosh, they decorate for holidays, they must have it all together in here. So I'll forget about all the cars and the Legos and everything else laying on the floor. When you look at my table, I, I rearrange things like um, every so often, but it looks like all together, kind of fall. I can add a thing here or there when it comes to Halloween. These are actually LED um, pumpkins. I got these at Target. They actually light up, but I don't love lighting them up. I also actually got everything at Target. I got this harvest candle at Target. This is the hearth in hand. It was like $14. Um, I wait until the end of the season to start lighting it so that it doesn't burn down where you could get to. I got this little wheat um, strain. It was like $3. This is actually a Target wreath, wreath from last year. So I went through four wreaths on the front of the door. So I'll show you guys which wreath I ended up with. And then this came all together like this from Target. What is really cool is if you can decorate your space with something, whoops, that is custom, that you either do a DIY project or if you know somebody that knows how to sketch or whatever. So my friend Olivia sketched these two for me and this is just a target frame that she put it in. Really quickly, I decided to do all the fall colors for my pumpkins this year. Sometimes I'll do a color scheme and do white or I'll do the light ones or only orange. I've got dark orange, I've got light orange, I've got this big gourd here. These black ones even were at a local place here in Nashville. It was called Flower Mart, the place that I went if you're local. So this year I did Red Mums. I literally went through four wreaths. I'm sorry for the traffic sound, but I landed on this goldenrod one. Everything else was too messy and like leafy or it was too plasticky looking. And the front porch wreath is really important to me. So I got this one from Target and I really love this one. I always like to grab these little tiny um, flat arrangements. This one's Threshold and it is from Target. It's $16. If you come out here on my porch, I have two things that I'm loving. Come on, so um, this, I need to take the tag off of it, but I actually got two of these. No, I got three of these. These were in the Studio McGee drop at Target, which was fantastic this year. I just love a, a buffalo plaid or like any kind of black and white to go with fall or Halloween or whatever. So I put one under the kids table in um, my kitchen and then I put one out here for people to wipe their feet on. This is one of my favorite fun creative things that I've done. This window box brings me so much joy. So every season I am, well, this is only my second season. I'm gonna redecorate it with something seasonal. Flower Mart here in Nashville actually had mums individually potted, like four window boxes. If you didn't have that at your local flower place, you could always just take a large mum arrangement that's not all the way bloomed yet and like cut them yourself. I started with the burgundy mums and then I did orange, yellow and white, just kind of in a rainbow. And I love this. Word on the street is if you pinch the top of a mum off, it will grow back and it will change colors. I don't know if that's legitimate or not. Word on the street. If your children are young like mine, if your children are possibly at home and you're doing at home learning or just trying to find something to keep them busy, I love to like have just different little DIY things at home so they're not just playing with some toy from Target in the corner. So this is something that I threw together. It's just like a little sensory bin. So all these things are from Michaels. You want to have things that are different textures and this one is like a fall theme so we're learning about pumpkins and pine cones and leaves and they can just like rummage through it and, and play with it. Like I've got all these different pumpkins. I've got some of these fall colors where you can work on colors and different things. Obviously Ford is 
is talking more and knows his colors and stuff and Shepard's just learning. So Shepard's is more for feel and texture and touch. But this is a fun, easy little fall project. You can get 72 bats off of Amazon for uh, $14.99. <laughs> can you believe that I have all of them in my house? I did grab the bats again this year because I just couldn't without the bats. However, I did grab something so that I could just be a little bit different. Um, and that is these, that, these like moths. So this is kind of fun and like gothic and Halloween-y. <laughs> if you want to do something scary and scare the living daylights out of your two and one year old like I'm gonna do. Are these just, Mal, are these just paper? Or how do They're you get them up paper, there? And then they stick on like this. Okay. Yeah, see? Very easy. So it's the same thing like in the entryway where I just put it over the normal piece of art that I had and it's a fun and easy decoration. Sometimes there are things in our space that cause so much clutter or just kind of get in our way and we'll leave them there for like a year. I did that in my bathroom and I had this piece that was from Restoration Hardware and I was like, it's expensive so I have to use it. But it really blocked up my space. So if you guys saw any videos of our bathroom before, we used to have this square thing right here that held all the towels. It looked really messy. It was just like heavy and bulky in the way. When the Studio McGee sale happened at Target, I was like, I'm gonna get a basket and put all of our towels here. And we love it. I like how these towels are rolled. It it's makes like me feel like I'm out of spa. Can I show this? Uh, oh yes, Ford, that's cute. I brought our Ford brushes his teeth in the morning beside me and this is his stool. His class made it. Uh, <laughs> Ford is the tiger right here. <gasps> Um, so so you'll sit this up right, right by my sink and so we'll brush our teeth in the mornings. So. If you guys have followed my content for a long time, you know I'm always wearing extensions and I wear a halo extension. If you don't know what a halo extension is, it's basically an extension with this piece of clear wire on it. There's a little bead here. I used to wear a brand called Halo Couture. I now wear a brand called Hidden Crown because you can order it all online and they match your hair a lot easier and easier is better and it's cheaper. I actually think I have a discount code that will get you a discount um, of some sort. So I'll put that in the bio along with all these links. I love these. I've worn these for years and years. I've had every kind of extension, love them. They just came out with Hidden Crown clips. So I've got in just two side clips right now. Now, keep in mind, I do not have a lot of hair. It's really, really hard for me to find the right extension, but I really love how these are working. So. Each of the side clips is a weft this long with three clips in it. And then there's a back clip also. The back clip I don't have in right now, but this is what it looks like. So if you're a person that like needs more hair, then you would do this back clip. But I want mine kind of like thin to match my real hair, but I just need to fill in the sides. I'm a big fan of this. This is actually the first day that I've worn them because I want to try them out for this video. And I'm already including them in a favorites video because they're already my favorites. I tried a lot of different kinds of makeup over the past 20 something years that I've been wearing makeup or however long it's been, I have tried, that would make me wearing makeup for a really long time, but whatever, however long it is. I've tried a lot of different brands and this brand took my breath away. I was introduced to when I went to 30A this last time at this boutique that I love called Willow. They do all clean beauty and everything. She was like, have you tried Gucci Westman's new line? Gucci Westman is a makeup artist that does like Gwyneth Paltrow and JLo and all of these celebrities that have beautiful, glowing, dewy skin. She's known for like doing people on their wedding day that like a more natural look. She was like, this line is amazing. I tried it and you can see how much I liked it. I like literally had to get every single piece because I love this line none of this is sponsored this is all sponsored by me and my credit card so they have foundation sticks so what i'll do in the morning is just foundation stick all over my face i love this brush so then i'll just go around in a circle i'll kind of um, blend that all in then if you wanted to do a contour you could do a contour with these contour brushes this one's called biscuit is the shade three and four are my shades of um foundation and then I have this cream blush that I love. Couchette is the one that I really, really love. Put that on my cheeks, also do that with the brush. And then these are eyeshadow pods. So everything is magnetic and it's just super nice, like the way that everything goes together. This is, I have on a full face of this right now. And then the mascara is bomb. So this is the mascara. It's all just such good quality and just gorgeous packaging 
probably, I'm probably gonna say like my top favorite makeup brand that I have used in like 10 years. This is a highlighter that is gorgeous. This is Huda Pesh. You probably can't see it until like you get into the light, but it's glowy and dewy and like natural. And I just love it. Another thing that I got when I was there um, is this Augustinus Vader. Um, this is called the Rich Cream. If you have drier skin, this is really great. It's like a serum, moisturizer, and toner in one, they say. And I love this. This is the cologne that I, or the perfume that I wore on my honeymoon that I really love. It's Creed. It's more expensive, so it took me like five years to just be like, okay, I'm finally getting it. Because I had a little sample that I brought on our honeymoon, so it's Jardin de Malfi, and I love it. I also have this. This is a more affordable serum. It's a hyaluronic. Um, I also have a discount code. I did a deal with them a while back, and I was like, I have to use this for eight weeks before I can share it. And for an affordable, um, nice product, this is a great hyaluronic um, acid serum. So a lot of y'all have been asking about my fall favorites. <laughs> He's and making fun of influencers saying that. I love vests. So this is a Peter Millar vest. It's, they made tons of vests, probably the best uh, vests. They always have a ton of cool fall ones. For your husband, boyfriend, significant other, has a little bottle opener from when he's at the football game. Favorite fall cologne, Tom Ford, Black Orchid. Okay, Cal. Very mysterious, very fall, very okay. sexy. Okay. And this hat I got at Orvis. I bought these Gucci boots last season. I absolutely love these. They're heavy but they are such a cool boot. There is an exact dupe right now that I will link below for $120. So the Gucci ones are like 1200. The boot is exact, except for it doesn't have the GG. I mean, exact down to these. So one of my go-tos in the fall, especially around like Halloween season, is to wear leggings, those black boots that I just showed you, a turtleneck and a really fun, like festive earring. So I bought all three of these from Bubble Bar, and this one is like a real, a larger one that these really these move and dance to. They're all real earrings, not uh, with with a back, not clip-ons. These are smaller, but they're so cute, and the spiders move. Also, all these crystals, and then these they call the dancing ghosts. <laughs> okay, another thing, everybody's loving the home edit show. We got cut in the final hours because there was like not another space left to do. So we were supposed to be on it and long story short, we're not on it. But it's okay because my whole house is done because I had them do my whole house last year. Really love, I actually brought this on vacation and I showed it to you guys. It prints out pictures about this size. So they're really cute. Here's a couple more that it prints out. It's pretty good quality. They're small pictures, of course, but if you had a little frame, you could do like a bunch of those. We just stick them on the fridge. I wanted to show you just a cute little idea for kids because it's another way that you can use your bats because 72 are gonna be hard for you to use probably. I like to put them in an entryway like on the front of your house too. But if you have a little bookshelf, so these bookshelves, I showed this before, but just in case you're new to my content, these are called the Beaumont Shelf and they're from Crate and Kids. So. I'll put two of them right next to each other and this can like cover a whole wall and it's sweet because he gets to pick his books every night and I like to decorate it for holiday. So we did the bats of this and then I do, this was like $16 off of Amazon. I'll do one hanging there and then the one over my shoulder um, hanging here. So this is one $16 piece of garland that I cut in half. But that's just a really cute way to like update your kids' room for the holidays. Um, Bonaparte falls apart. <laughs> room on the room. And Pete the Cat, obviously, are all Halloween books. And he's been loving Pete the Cat. Kyle reads his bedtime story to him while I'm putting Shepard to bed at night. And how has Pete the Cat been going over? Um, Pete the Cat's very good. He gets a little frightened going to trick or treat. But uh, away, so I won't give away the ending. How cute is this little outfit? So it's a cute little fall outfit. It's got little acorn pants. Also, if you have a kid space, I'm whispering because Shepard's sleeping. It's nice to have things that, that can't hurt them, can't hurt the sibling, um, that are not breakable. So these were actually from the dollar section in Target and they're plastic and really light. And then also this wreath is like made of felt. So these are things that 
aren't breakable that they can throw around that aren't dangerous. So I'm in my office right now where I record my podcast and I took a little break just because things um, after everything that happened with Blaze and just this summer, it was just a really tough time. I felt like to put out um, constant content and I'm in the middle of writing my book, which this is where that all goes down to. So I took a little hiatus, but we're back up and running and I've had amazing guests. I had um, Bob Goff and Gabrielle Bernstein and Jeremy Camp and I've got um, Coach Mike. Oh, Coach Mike coming up. I've got Shay from Studio McGee is coming up. I've got a lot of really great ones um, coming up. Jana and Mike, um, Jana Kramer and her husband Mike. Um, and then I've just got some like more everyday people or people that are starting in the vlogging space. So if you guys have not listened to my podcast, give that a listen. You guys have probably seen me do makeup videos and hair videos and different things. I used to have just like tons of overflow. I give away a lot of the stuff that comes in my house, but some of the stuff I like to keep and keep organized. That way when people come to my house, they can grab whatever they need or when I'm doing a video or like doing a new look, I can grab what I need. So I finally went through and organized this closet. And these are the acrylic home edit shelves. They do custom labels for me um, for a lot of different things, but I just ordered some of the labels and I just really love this closet. I do, I take a lot of calls in this closet because it makes me feel very at peace. Another thing, because if you are on WW, this is a great option for a pumpkin spice type drink that's not as many points it's like two points ish so this is what's in it a grande blonde roast coffee one pump of pumpkin three pumps of sugar-free cinnamon dolce non-fat milk and cinnamon powder and it is so good the regular pumpkin spice i think is like seven points and that pumpkin cream awesome foam thing is like 15 points Another thing that I'm loving always, but especially right now, because I have new goals and I'm just like crushing, is WW. I'm still on the green plan um, in my WW. Kyle's doing it with me this time. And it's just been, um, I just love being able to find a program that works, that makes you able to live your life and achieve your goals. It is such a no brainer if you're trying to get healthy. And I put my link in the bio where you guys can get a special offer, but man, if you haven't tried WW and you are trying to achieve some goals this fall, what are you waiting for?